Hey guys, today I'm going to be walking you through some of these save system settings. Um, so we've got the save system actor here. Um, you're going to need this in your level um, for the save system to work. So uh, first up, if we select the actor, we've got some settings here. So we've got the auto save settings. Now uh, by default this is disabled, so uh, we can set this to enable and the autosave timer is uh, how many seconds between each autosave. Uh, next we've got load save, so if we want it to load in uh, saves we're going to need to enable that and uh, you can put in your saves uh, name there. Um, I put this in so if you have an interface where your uh, player can have multiple saves you can uh, hook into this value inside this actor um, and change it however you need. Uh, then we've got the debug settings which are, um, if we enable those, um, they'll show um, what the save actor is doing so you'll be able to see every time that it does an auto save uh, while you're playing. Um, next I'm just going to quickly tell you um, where this saves your game files to because I get this uh, asked this a lot so if we just right click on your uh, survival game kit folder and then do show in explorer uh, I'm just going to bring it over here um, we're going to go to your main uh, folder uh, project folder go into save and I don't actually have one because this is a new project but um, we can quickly jump into the game and we'll make one um, we'll just hit play and uh, we'll pick up some items and I think it's defaulted to 10 seconds so we'll just wait a second and you can see we've got our debug on and it's shown us uh, that we've done an auto save so we can exit out and if we hit play again we'll load up our save and we've got all our items there but um, if I go back to our um, folder here so we're in our main project folder then saved you'll have a new folder called save games and in here is where your save game file will be so if you're just debugging or switching maps or anything like that um, and you're having some weird issues where if you place an item into the world in the editor view um, and then you hit play the item isn't there anymore it's probably because it's not in the save game so what will happen is the system will delete it because it's not part of its save um, so to clear up those issues you can just um, delete the whole folder or if you have multiple saves because you're working on different things um, you can just delete the save that you need now if we hit play you'll see we'll load in and we'll have a clean uh, save so next I'm just going to take you through some of the events that are in the inventory save system so I'm going to open up the blueprint editor here and we're in the event graph of the save system. Now a lot of the time I get asked about um, you know, if you have a menu system and you want to call um, the, the uh, save system to load a save. Um, by default I have it connected here to the begin play because uh, we don't have a menu system but um, it's quite simple. All you do is create a custom event here. Call it something like load, load up game and you plug that into here and in here we do um, we basically load up all of the stuff that the save actor contains so we will load up our items, our building grids and our buildings there um, and you'd call this um, event on your um, your UI um, I guess um, when your player clicks to load a save um, if you're using networking you'd have to then make a call um, to potentially the player controller and then that would call this event um, so it's done on the server and not on the client um, and again I get asked about deleting saves in gameplay um, again you would have a button that would call this delete save event and that would delete the file that I showed you earlier in the folder um, and the save um, system so if you wanted a save button in say a start menu um, you would call this event here the set auto save timer um, sorry not the set auto save timer you would call the uh, run auto save event 
and that will uh, go through and save everything in your level um, including player stats and uh, storage components and everything like that so this is the event that you would want to call from your UI um, just as a disclaimer some people um, have been trying to use this with large-scale um, multiplayer saving I do say in the description of the product I don't recommend this save system for um, large multiplayer um, setups purely because the this uses the built-in Unreal Engine save system and it's not really designed for that um, if you're doing a serious project where you need to save lots of different players um, you know, um, stats and everything like that you're definitely going to need to look at uh, something like an external database that can be um, called much easily um, as well as managed and things like cheating and stuff like that will be a lot easier with that kind of setup um, so I definitely would advise looking into that it's not something I've worked with before um, but I've many people have said to me that they've got it working with this system before so I I don't think it's much of a challenge um, or any different from adding it to another system so I do recommend doing that if you're doing multiplayer but if you're doing things like four player co-op or single player games this system should work just fine um, so that's just a little bit of information on the um, save system I hope you guys found this um, helpful uh, thank you for watching